This video is part of series covering IGCSE computer science topics. In this video, we will discuss loop structures. Let's suppose we have to write an algorithm to print 1 to 100 numbers. Let's write a pseudocode to solve this problem. So first we will print 1, we will print 2, print 3, print 4, print 5, print 6, print 7, print 8. Like that, we will move to print 110. So there are around 110 lines of code we have to write to do a simple task of printing 1 to 110 numbers. I think it's more easy if you do it from your hand and print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then that would be more easy. So you can see this task is very tiring. We have a magical solution to reduce these number of lines from 1 to 100 from just 5. Do you know how are we going to do that? Let's see. This process of writing prints again and again is called iteration and we use loops whenever we have to perform iterations. Loops are used to repeat a block of code until a specified condition is met. So our loop is going to repeat the print process until the specified condition is met. How are we going to do that? Let's put a repeat keyword here. So repeat, um, I'm going to make this R and E capital as well. So repeat will print one. So you see the number is changing every time. First it was one, next it will be two, three, four. So I'm going to use a variable here. You already know about variable. So I'm going to use a variable which is called number and I'm going to initialize the variable from 1. So now I'll print number, then I'll increase the number, I'll increment the number. Increment means you have to add 1 every time the number is printed. Now I'm going to tell the pseudocode to repeat this process, repeat the process of printing number then adding 1 to it until so what is my condition here until number is greater than 110 when the number reaches to 110 then i'm going to stop this process let's see if it even works or not first number was equal to 1 and it printed 1 then number was equal to 2 it printed 2 now we have 1 and 2 printed then the number was equal to 3 and we had 1, 2, 3 all printed. So this is my prints. 1 was already printed, 2 was printed in this step, 3 was printed here. So like that number will go to... So meanwhile it is printing, it will always check the condition. When, it, uh, when the number was 1, it printed 1, it increased the number and then check. It will check the condition. If it's true or false, the condition is false. So repeat the process. The process will be repeated until the condition is true. So when the number reaches to, I suppose, number when the number reaches to 110, it will go because 110 is not actually greater than 110 so it will repeat again it will print 110 then again increase number now number is 111 it will again check the condition now the condition is true as 111 is greater than 110 so it will stop repeating these blocks the loop we just applied is called repeat until loop. This loop is used when the number of repetitions or iterations is not known. So, and the actions are repeated until a given condition becomes true. So here we kind of know that, but we still can use this repeated until loop. We know that we have to stop, stop at 110. So we don't know the number of iterations, but we know where to stop that's condition we know the condition to stop and the action in this loop are always completed at least once so it is going to print number and number plus one and it is going to print number and increment number at least once before checking the condition 
let's redo this problem with another kind of loop so there are multiple loops you have a choice to choose for so another loop is called for loop for the variable which i am going to consider so here i'm going to consider number for all the stuff all the repetitions all the iterations i'm going to consider the variable named number so i'm going to write number here for number one two one hundred and ten I'm saying that for number 1 to 110, do the following task. What, what task? Print number. So here I do not have to increment the number explicitly each time. In for loop, I do not have to increment. While in the repeat until loop we used just before, we had to increase the number ourselves. Here, we don't have to increase the number ourselves saying that whenever the number is from 1 to 110 print the number so how is it gonna work first of all number is equal to minus number is equal to 1 not minus 1 first of all number is equal to 1 it will come to the for loop and for loop gives us the condition that number should be from 1 to 110 so number is 1 this part is true so it will print number then it will automatically increase the number so it is by default method in for loop for loop will do that for you so it's more magical than the previous one i suppose so when the number is two it will again check that is the condition true yes the condition is true so it will print two now uh, i'm printing it sub in separate lines uh, but actually it will be printed like one two three this this is not going to be printed this is for our understanding that number is changing as well okay next the number will be incremented to three again goes to the next means go back to the for loop it will check the condition again and yes the condition is verified condition is true so it will print three and it will move on like this when the number is equal to 110 the condition is still true number is still between uh, number is still from 1 to 110 so it will print number and then it will move to the again it will move to the for block and it will again check the condition now number was incremented to 111 in the last step so this condition is not true anymore so the process of repetitions and the process of performing iterations is stopped the loop is complete in short for loop is used when you have a variable that is set up with a start value and you know the end value of the variable and the increment is performed in the for loop and the loop will run until the end value is reached then the iteration finishes the variable can be used within the loop as long as its value is not changed so you should not change the value of this variable you can use this variable in the loop if it is not changing by anything else it should only be changed by the loop this type of loop is very useful for reading values into list for printing values from the list so this is kind of a list you know you have 1 to 110 numbers these are ki this kind of forms a list so you use for loop although all loops perform the same thing all loops are performing iterations we have already done this task through repeat until loop as well but in this kind of scenarios for loop works better for loops give you less lines of code in this scenario i just have four lines of code while in the last step we had five lines of code now i'm going to solve the same problem with another loop so number is to one i said while number is less than 111 do what do print number and then increment the number and then end it whenever the condition is false and the while loop mentioned above so how is it going to work it will start the number from one it will come to the while it will check that if this condition is true it will do the following task again and again do that let's see what the output will be so the number was one in the beginning it printed it number was one so it came to the while it checked if number is less than 111 yeah number is less than 111 so it printed one 
then it incremented the number again checked if again got back to the while again checked if number is 111 yes the condition is true so it again printed similarly like that when it reaches when the number reaches to 100 and suppose 109 number was incremented to 109 here it got back to the while check the condition condition is true it printed 109 again incremented the number now the number is 110 it got back to the while loop check the condition yes condition is still true so it printed 110 again incremented the number now number is 111 it got back to the while loop again check the condition now the condition is false number is no more less than 111 but actually it's equal to 111 so this condition is false so the iteration will stop it will go to the end while it will end the while loop so this kind of loop is called while loop while loop is used when you don't know about the number of iterations like in the repeat until loop you also didn't know about number of repetitions but you knew the condition you always should know the condition that's the key so number of iterations is not known and the actions are only repeated while a given condition is true you are not printing the number at first then checking the condition you are checking the condition then printing it so it's a reverse it's reverse from a repeat until loop if the while condition is untrue then the loop first entered then the actions in the loop are never performed so if i'm by mistake i start the number from 111 already it will come to the while and it will check the condition numbers are not less than number is not less than 111 so it will not do this while when we were using repeat until loop let's see in repeat until loop what will happen if we use number as one so i'm going to again change the pseudocode to the repeat thing it will like this the this part will be this part is going to the end the condition is not going to be checked here so it will repeat the process of printing number and the condition uh, will be checked until number is uh, when the condition is false uh, when the condition is true repeat until loop will stop so whenever the condition is true the loop will stop so now you see number is 111 it will straight come to the repeat and print the number there is no condition to check so it will print 111 and it will check the condition in the end that if number is greater than 110 i was i have to stop but the condition is in the end so it will have to do the task at least once but in the while in the while loop condition is checked when the loop is first entered let's recap all three kinds of loop here repeat loop repeat loop will repeat the process until the given condition is true whenever the given condition is true it will sp stop the repetitions next is for loop whenever the value is between 1 to 110 it will work and print the number and change the value one by one when the value reaches to 110 it will print the number and stop it will not move above 110 and next is while loop it will check the condition at the beginning if the condition is true it will print the number you should see the difference here in while we have put the condition like number should always be less than 111 and in repeat until loop we check that if number is now greater than 110 so these are kind of opposite things when you are going to check the condition at the beginning you should put the true case like whenever this is true it should run and when you are putting the condition at the end you should use the false case whenever the this condition is false it will work whenever this condition is true it will stop so repeat until and while loop kind of use opposite conditions opposite scenario in the next video we will discuss more examples and we will discuss different examples and and will find out which example should use which loop keep watching